Okay, folks, here we are on the next video. Now we're going to talk about sodium phosphate. Sodium phosphate ha is utilized in the human body by the human brain and nerves because it's a phosphate. Remember, all phosphates, brain and nerves are automatic. Muscles, red blood cells, and its main function is to maintain acid balance in the human body. It combats a lot of different types of, of uh, acids, including uric acid, so it will prevent things like gout as well. Now, as for facial signs, I've only brought up one picture of this one, of this one, because it shows you everything very clearly. Uh, main, the absolute main, I may have to move some stuff here. The main indicator that you're gonna look for, oh, I have the wrong thing open, here we go. See this shiny kind of oily spot right here? Reflection off the nose, and the nose is oily. This is called the T-zone. An oily T-zone, combine that with these enlarged pores that we're seeing all here, as well as here. And most importantly, well, I shouldn't say most importantly, because most importantly is this oily T-zone. Uh, you notice how the jaw comes in, and then the skin begins to sag a bit. This is only a young woman. She should not have hanging skin on her jawline. That is due to acidity as a result of a sodium phosphate deficiency. But let's continue with some of the other vanity issues because it helps you understand the mo most probable need. Uh, so we have the oil T-zone, we have the enlarged pores, we have the hanging skin on the jawline. Uh, but along with that, blackheads, uh, lumps in the breasts, the breasts will sag, will be very saggy, uh, hyperhidrosis once again, so excessive sweating, varicose veins, cellulite, and once again, the acne that we're seeing due to acidity. This is what we're seeing here. This is an acidity issue. So those are the correlations to what would might what or what might be considered vanity issues if we now have a look at the behavioral issues there's not as much with the sodium phosphate so we're just going to run through those quickly uh, they will lack initiative have a poor memory be very moody unreliable once again somebody who fails to accept responsibility uh, that's enough. Fails to accept responsibility. Not trustworthy. They'll be a very unfriendly person and overly sensitive emotionally. <laughs> welcome to the internet. Yes, folks. Welcome to the internet. Let's move on to the health issues. Not, not a lot here either. Uh, sodium phosphate, although there's not a lot of correlations or indicators here, it is something that is actually you'll you'll see it in an awful lot of people and a lot not a lot an awful lot of people need it especially considering the north american diet uh so with health issues you'll think of angina arterial plaque because we're talking about acidity and thus oxidation uh, cirrhotic arthritis type 2 diabetes breast inflammation which i've already kind of talked about cystitis, diabetic foot as well, uh, fatty liver. Uh, they will crave fatty foods, but they will also crave sweets. So they'll crave both of them. Uh, kidney stones, chronic heartburn, elevated cholesterol levels, urinary incontinence, lots of issues with flatulent being very gassy, farting a lot, uh, gallbladder infl inflammation, are you ready for this? Again, we're talking about a substance that neutralizes its acid in the human body. Identified, and this was identified around the year 1850. Uh, cancer in the lymphatic system. So in, in cancer tumors and cancers in the lymphatic system, 
This was identified in 1850. This is nothing new. I know we talk about things that occurred in 1929 with other scientists and the discoverers. This was written in, in this was identified around 1850, uh, and it's still true today. Uh, rheumatoid arthritis, sciatica, and chronic fatigue syndrome. Those are the main, most prominent health indicators uh, or correlations to a sodium phosphate deficiency. So we see that, and I forgot to show you the after photo, or the photo of somebody without one. So here we are seeing a bit of a shiny nose, but nothing in the T-zone up here to make the T at all. Just a bit of an oily tip on the nose, no hanging skin, no real huge enlargement of pores, they're all consistent. Uh, no real visible, a couple of uh, small breakouts of acne here on the chin, more likely related to hormones than acidity. Anyway, folks, this is what it looks like when you don't have it. This is what it looks like when you do. That's it for now. See you next time.